Do you want to know more about India's indigenous navigation system? Or are you wondering what NBS Navic satellite is about? Or are you here looking for a comprehensive understanding of the latest updates on ISRO developed navigation satellite? Hello and welcome back to Clear IAS. We are back with another current affairs capsules video. Here through this video, we are going to look into the details and when you are done with this, you will be having a pretty good understanding of this topic. Students, if you are wondering why this topic is relevant, listen closely. This is the major comeback of ISRO after the failure of the last launch of GSLV in August 2021. And also, more importantly, it is a very own navigation satellite, that in second generation, which is much more advanced than the first. Well, let's begin. NVS-1 is the first of the second generation satellites envisaged for the navigation with Indian Constellation Services launched by GSLV. For your better understanding, let me explain it by just taking GPS. GPS, that is the Global Positioning System, is a US initiative and covers navigation in a global range. NVS-1 is part of such a system that is the NAVIC, which is an Indian initiative and is a regional system. Remember, it is a regional system. It covers India and areas 1,500 kilometers from India. Now that you have a basic understanding, let us move forward to some details and important features of NVS-1. To begin with, NVS-1 weighs approximately 2,230 kilograms and this is exactly why we launched it with the help of a GSLV because if you compare, GSLV can carry heavier loads than PSLV and is therefore the perfect companion for NVS-1. Secondly, it consists of 8 satellites, 3 of them are in geostationary orbit and 5 are inclined in geosynchronous orbit. Out of these 8, only 7 are currently active. They also add to India's regional navigation, providing accurate and real-time navigation. It is also important to keep in mind yet another feature of NVS-1 is that Navic signals travel at a 90 degree angle to India which makes it simpler for them to pass through crowded regions, thick woods and steep terrain. In contrast to the angle at which GPS signals are transmitted might occasionally make it difficult for some areas to receive them. Please note that the satellite will be equipped with a rubidium atomic clock, an important technology created by India. Due to faulty atomic clocks, some of the navigation constellation's existing satellites lost their capacity to deliver correct location data. Satellite-based positioning systems rely on exact time readings from atomic clocks to identify object placements. When the clock fails, the satellites can no longer deliver precise location information. This initiative has another relevance. NVS-1 has 12 years of lifespan, unlike other satellites that usually have only a 10-year lifespan. It also has two sets of payloads, the navigation and the ranging payload. Also keep in mind that apart from India, the US, EU, Japan, China and Russia have their own navigation systems. Terrestrial, Aerial and Marine Navigation, Disaster Management, Fleet Management, Vehicle Tracking, Integration with Mobile Phones, Precise Timing, Mapping and Geodetic Data Collection are some potential applications for NVS-1. To conclude, NVS-1 is one of its kind attempt made by India to better the navigation system, to build independence for ourselves. This is yet another successful milestone by ISRO putting us and our prestigious science and technological developments 
a step forward than where we were yesterday so these are the basic things you must know about nvs1 please read the newspaper and other articles related to the topic to keep yourself updated throughout your journey hope you enjoyed the video and please do check out the description box for detailed notes and so that's it for today guys we will see you with new amazing explainer videos that will make your learning simple easy and super fast